the following original on-demand content was originally aired exclusively on Radio Memphis. That's from the fire for you right here on Radio Memphis Around the World, radio-memphis.com. You're hanging out with me, Dirty D, Take My Heart, out of New York. And they were the Artist of Month for June 2015. And what's really, really cool, I told you guys I had some really cool things happening throughout the show. You never know who I'm going to be catching up with. I happen to have the boys from the fire on the phone with me right now. How are you doing, Tommy and J.D.? What's happening, Diane? You got me first. We're actually up in the studio, so we're just going to be handing the phone around to each other while we uh, while we do the interview. This is <laughs> great, man. Awesome. How are you doing, yeah. J.D., honey? Uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Uh, the same to you. The same to you. I'm hoping for a really great 2016 for you and everybody. I know you guys are working really hard down there. and. We really appreciate all you've done for us, that's for sure. Oh, my God, thank you. Uh, well, you know, of course, you know, today's a very special show for us on Radio Memphis Around the World. I'm recapping and, and touching base with, you know, and uh, with a couple of my artists of the month, um, you know, for the year 2015. And, of course, you guys, you know, you guys were my, you were my, you were my gang, man, in, in June. And so, you know, and, I, you know, there's, I'm sure, you know, since, you know, since we've been able to meet and, and you know, and you guys, you know, have been on the show and, and you guys have had music, you know, it's played here on Radio Memphis Around the World and Radio Memphis, you know, like what's happened since June, you know? A it? lot of stuff. <laughs> a, a lot of stuff. It, it's crazy. We we got re-energized. It's the best way to put it. Um, I can't really say too much because that's just the nature of the business at this point. But a new energy is coming to this band that's just been amazing. Okay. And um, and for the first time since like 1992, I can stand here and tell you that there is a from the fire. It's an actual band. Five members all working together. Oh wow! Dedicated to this thing, and it's. I'm telling you what, I'm, I'm damn near in tears the whole time I'm up here because these guys are working so hard and it sounds so good, and wow. I'm just really, really excited. And that's the big news, you know. That's the biggest news. That is fantastic, and you know, it just seems like all all kinds of craziness has been going on, and all kinds of cool stuff has been happening. You know, since you yeah. know, since we've we've been <laughs> able to talk, and you know, we've been able to you know kind of meet up and and, and speak to each other. Um, and as far as deals, as far as from the fire, you know, band has been you know the band itself, and you know the whole idea. Of course, I just played take um to you know, take my heart. And if you didn't know that, that's one of my personal favorite songs. I mean, I, love I, that song. I yeah. want I want to crawl up in the closet with like uh, you know a box of like chocolate ice cream and just sit there and go over <laughs> everybody wow. I ever broke up with. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, you know, and I was just like, oh, my God, that's like, the, it's the power of music, you know? And I said, yeah. and it was one of those, I'm singing along, I'm crying, this chocolate's really good, and I just want to, and, you know, I got to see these people live, <laughs> so, you know? That, that's um, one of my favorite tunes. It was written by Nadine Arell, Nadine Calpin. What a great songwriter, man. It was one of, the, one of the songs that really was one of the first things that From the Fire did that we kind of looked up and said, wow, this might, this might be something with this, you know? She's Really, such a great songwriter, man. Such a, such a pleasure recording and singing that song. Wow, that's some fantastic yeah. stuff. Good Love deal. it, man. We're having so much fun. I mean, just to have everybody together in one place. I mean, it kind of hit us before. That for the first time, we're all in one, we're all in one room. Tommy's been out in California woodshedding. Um, we have uh, Jenny Corot playing uh, keyboards for us. Janet Reese is on drums. We have Kenny Kaufman on bass. Wow. And it's just, for the first time, we all just kind of you know, plugged in and played and Oh, man, just big smiles. We're just like a bunch of happy dopes walking around up here. <laughs> but look at all the look at all the stuff that that's really kind of going on, and you, you know, you guys have, have have changed a couple things up. You know, you guys have oh, yeah. you know, you guys have have really you know gotten kind of gotten in, and you know, and there's been kind of a resurgence, if you will, you know, from you know from the actual band in and of itself. And you know, a lot of yeah. people that are tuned in, you know, I'm talking to JD, I'm um, Kelly from from the Fire, right here on Radio yes. Memphis. <laughs> and you know, the funny thing is, is that you know, we always talk about we go back to the time where you guys didn't realize, you know, the first time around that, you know, you had such a huge cult following and, you know, yeah. and, you know, some of the articles that he did even, you know, come out, you know, Team Rock, you know, even threw one out, you know, that you actually were listed as a cult favorite, believe it or not. Um, yeah. And so coming back through, it's almost like, okay, wow, what are we going to do now? <laughs> <laughs> that was a heavy moment, man. I mean, Tommy had been saying that stuff for years. He said, you know, we're really big over in Europe. And I would be like, yeah. Like people say, well, David Hasselhoff is huge in Germany, and you go, yeah, like whatever, you know. <laughs> but, <laughs> I don't know if you want like, to put yourself in the like same category with Dave <laughs> Hasselhoff, man. But uh. all <laughs> <laughs> no, no disrespect to David Hasselhoff, man. But you know, we got over there, and I, I couldn't believe how people were reacting, and uh, it was just way, way, way cool. And uh, 
it continues to be. You know, this whole new energy, this whole new direction, it's just, uh, I'm so excited, man. We've got such great players, and everybody's just so happy, and it feels like, you know, it feels like coming home again. It really, really does. Wow. And um, I'm really jazzed. Now, if it's cool with you, I want to hand the phone over to Tommy. Oh, absolutely. So I've, I've, I've got to hear, interview? yeah, I've got to hear from Tommy. I want to talk to Tommy. <laughs> All right. I mean, we love you, man. And before I get off, I just want to wish everybody down there. I know you guys have been having a spot of bad weather, man. I hope everybody's okay. Thank you so much you know, for that. We see all that stuff on the news, and I hope you guys are doing all right. We're making it. Thank you so much for that. All right, guys. <laughs> Hold on. I'm okay. give you Mr. T. I'll talk to you in a little bit. Okay. Take care. Yeah, my favorite uh, Thunder Fire song is Dirty Diane. <laughs> There's actually a song called Dirty Diane. You know we wrote that? No, I'm just kidding. Oh, my goodness. I, I was like, you, you you made my heart stop, Tommy, and all of a sudden I'm like a total groupie and I'm twirling my hair. Are you serious? There you go. How's it going? It is wonderful, Then Those of you who tuned in, I am now talking to the lead guitarist and one of the creators for From the Fire, Tommy Lafferty. That, what's going on, man? You, you, you're, you, you've gotten, you know, you got on the plane, you flew from California, you know, you're back up with your band, you're hanging out with everybody. How you feeling? Greetings, my people. Uh, yes, I had to come from the uh, over to the East Coast where it's warm. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Thanks to our good buddy El Nino. That's why it's, it's, yeah, it's weird. Uh, really fantastic to be here. Uh, I I got to meet Jenny and I got to meet Gannett and reunited with my uh, my buddy Kenny and then of course my main man JD. Yeah. But uh, we're over here in the we're over here in the rehearsal studio. You know, just uh, getting doing push ups and sit ups. You know, <laughs> in shape. And uh, we're, having, we're, having a, we're having a good time. You guys look fantastic. Stop it. Uh, Seth, I've seen the pictures. I, I, I saw the selfies you've been posting while you're traveling, too. <laughs> oh, I got some selfies, yes. I it's, know. It's, 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 it's a tradition. <laughs> I got it. You know, um, Tommy, it's funny. I was wondering, I was thinking about you. Um, you yourself, you know, you, you know, you, you've been, you know, you, you've done the musician thing. You've been, that's what you are. That's you've, you've done this for a very, very, very long time. Um, you know, and from the fire, you know, is, is ultimately, you know, one of your, you know, it's one of your babies. You know, this is, this is ultimately what you created and what's in your heart. If, 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 you know, if, if that makes any sense and to see, you know, to see something and, you know, of course you were, you were able to go and, and tour and do some other things with some pretty incredible groups. Um, but to know that everybody always had this, this thing about this particular band, how does that make you feel? I mean, it's, uh, you're, you're absolutely correct. It is, it is my baby. It's my favorite. You know, it's, um, I'm, I'm very excited about the next generation from the fire where we're actually going to, you know, go play and, and, uh, start a career and, We'll be here, like I said, just we're kicking off the cobwebs a little bit. I know everyone's a little nervous, but we're just we're uh, we're gonna we're gonna kick it off. It's gonna be it's yeah. Gonna be fantastic. I mean, there's there's been you know this year's it's it's been kind of a whirlwind. You know what I mean? From from kind of getting together and and you know and you know and, and having gone over you know overseas and and going to you know catch a couple things and you know la- between last year and this year I mean there there's been a lot that's happened and all of a sudden we're smack dab in the middle of you know from the from the fire has has, has breathed a new life you know into coming you know coming back in and you know everybody's been kind of waiting on you. We certainly like to throw ourselves into the fire. <laughs> There it is. It's not hot enough, but yes. Yeah, so <laughs> once again, I, I I think I think that's when we're at our best when we when we push ourselves and we just say, hey, we're going to rehearse one day and next day we're going to play. Uh, okay, that's and, it. Uh, you yeah. know, and, and I know everyone else here is on board with that. We, we push ourselves. Right now, how does it how does it feel to to have it to have assembled you know kind of a dream team of a of a band for you now that you guys are you know obviously you guys have sat down and because you've got a you know you've got a very important you know appearance of a show for tomorrow evening set up you know which um we've um extended some invitations out you know to some very you know, select people to come and enjoy uh you know some music from you guys how does it feel to have this this band together and and how's it how's it working out. Feels feels really good, and, I, and I'm standing in this room here trying to imagine it back with people. Right now, it's back with chairs and tables, and and uh, I need to clear everything out and just load everybody. It's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be very very interesting. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, it's supposed to be you know it's supposed to be kind of a cool thing. Now now the deal as far as for 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 tomorrow, you know what you know what's the sh- what's the premise of the show? You guys just put out some invitations um, to very some you know, specific people and stuff, and you guys are kind of doing a showcase, if you will. Is that correct? That's 
correct. Yeah, we um, we we just you know we just put it out there and everybody uh, just uh, people people started at, at first people were like oh yeah I think I'll come I'll come I'll come and then right near the end where we were just clo- closing the guest list everybody was like can I come can I come can I? And, you know, sorry the yeah. room was very small. Yeah. Well, you know, you be able to fit a you know, fit a lot of a lot of things. We'll in bring there. some people up on stage with us. There's room up there. Oh, see, that's gonna be fantastic fun. Um, now that you've gotten all of this together in your head. <laughs> yeah. How 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 long is it gonna be? You know, before I find out that you've moved there. Uh, probably to twenty thirty minutes. I don't know. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> You've already, you've already started looking for places. I got it. <laughs> still thinking about it. Still thinking about it. Yeah. You know. But I'm very excited about the new members in the band. I would I would love to hand you off to to, to meet them if that's okay with you. That is fantastic. Absolutely. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Jenny Q. Okay. Hello. Hi, Jenny. How are you? Good. I'm uh, actually doing very well. How about you? I am wonderful. I am wonderful. I'm Dirty D with Radio Memphis. This is the first time that you and I have, have even spoke to each yes. other. Although I've heard tons about you. Oh, have you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I've heard wonderful things about you as well. Oh, honey, thank you. Um, I heard that now. And, and, and your last name, is it Q? Yes, it's actually Caro, but it starts with a Q. Okay, Caro. All right, that keeps saying. Yeah. It. Okay, they're like, okay, so it's just Jenny Q. Well, you know what? That's a cool name. Keep it. Stage name and well, everything. Thank you. <laughs> and everything. You know, I was talking, um, at one point in time, I was talking to, I'm um, JD, and, 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 and off and on, I was talking to Tommy. And I, it's actually kind of funny how they stumbled upon you in, in deciding, you know, uh, to bring you into the band, if you will. Yes. Yeah. So you. It want- was a very interesting way that that occurred well um yeah so i mean you want to tell me how that went down yeah um i actually uh, met jd through being his daughter's voice teacher Wow. so then he heard me singing and playing the piano and then he was like i have to have you in the band and then he asked me and i was like why would i not do this <laughs> you know it was funny He's because such an amazing singer he told me he was so funny and he is an amazing singer um I, and i do sing along to him all the time i mean you know he doesn't understand that i do um <laughs> he was telling when he was telling me that you know he had you know he had found you he said you know d he goes i was going up the stairs and all of a sudden you know <laughs> he goes, was this, yeah. this voice and he was like oh my god it was like the, oh you know, and you know, and he was, <laughs> and it was, it was, it was quite a, a a cute and spectacular moment, you know, that had happened, and and it was just one of those things where everything really kind of fell in place, and so now you found yourself, you know, you 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 were doing some voice lessons, and of course you do some you know some music teaching and things like that, and then you caught up in the whirlwind, and now all of a sudden you're in a band, sister. How's that feel? Yeah, it's pretty amazing, I have to say. This journey has been a crazy ride so far, and it's one that I want to stay on. So. I'm awesome. pretty stoked with what's uh, to come with this entire band, and I just just meeting all these guys. They're amazing musicians, and I respect them all very much. So I'm very very glad to be a part of this. That is fantastic. And so when you guys got together and really started trying to rehearse and stuff, did everything kind of fall in place for you? Oh, absolutely. It was one of those moments where you're just like, this is what we want to do, and this is what feels right. So it's yeah. one of those moments where it's just like magical. Wow, see, I like that word. Magical is a good <laughs> word with me, and that's fantastic stuff. Well, honey, congratulations <laughs> to you. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate you uh, having me on. Absolutely. Are you kidding, man? I am looking forward to hearing, you know, to hearing what you've got going on, and I'm looking forward oh, to I see how, to see how you kind of blend in with the band and and see what's going on. And and you know, for me again, you know, like I said, they've been you know played here on Radio Memphis around the world for for you know quite some time. They were Artist of the Month, um, which is you know why we're doing this today, guys, <laughs> highlighting my uh-huh. Artist of the Month. Month, you know for the year um you know and they were uh, my artist of the month for june and so you know to know that so much has happened just since june you know lets me know that some really incredible things are on the horizon for you guys yeah we're all really excited for what's to come and excited to show everyone what, what we have going that is fantastic stuff well honey i'd like to uh thank you for having me on and i'm gonna hand you off to another member okay who am i who am i talking to now i am gonna hand you off to kenny okay please the beef. all right Okay, thank you so much, Diane. Not a problem, sweetie. Thank you, Jenny. Okay, bye. Diana, hey. Hi. Hey, thanks for having us. Uh, Kenny here. 
Absolutely. Why, her- why do I have to follow, like, you know, the pretty lady in the band all the time and talk? And it's like, geez, right, because, it's like, because yeah. you're a gentleman. Guys, guys. Because you're the gentleman right. and you're open, you've are you opened the door for her and you've got class and you've got oh, style. Of course. Oh, yeah. And and these see- guys, no, these guys have the right <laughs> class. Ladies first. You know, with like you know, all of us newbies here and everything. All right. Kenny, now this is the first time that you and I have been able to speak. What is it that you do with the band from the fire? Well, I guess really, so I'm the bass player. Um, okay. I some backup vocals, and I'm basically like the guy that keeps the rest of them in line. They don't know that yet. But, uh, I am so excited to <laughs> be talking started, to you. Uh, it started 20 years ago, actually. Actually, even longer than that. Um, sometime like in the early 90s when uh, Tommy and J.D. had some downtime, uh, they gave me a call. Like, you know, we're all like homeboys from like this part of the uh the earth and um okay and they said hey you want to like just you know, like put together a little trio and we did some gigs down in uh greenwich village in uh city for a while and, and what we call that brothers. <laughs> brothers so we're all back in like brothers here and everything now uh as i say this is like you know kind of a 20-year uh reunion sort of thing right um actually we did have a sort of a class reunion Back, you know, a couple months ago. and uh, We love uh, Kenny. So <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, they were, like, you know, up for, like, you know, a month or so ago. And, you know, basically, you know, J.D. started the ball rolling. Hey, listen, like, uh, like here's what we're thinking of doing. And I'm like, sign me up, baby. Let's hit the road. Let's go on some road trips and do this. And that's... uh. You know, you are uh, right now at the ground floor of the new stage. We literally played for like, you know, just a couple hours together. Yeah, wow. Just before we called the up there, we hit our stride. Um, Spark and Flame. Was that Spark and Flame before this? Ah, uh, yeah, it was it Spark and Flame? Was right? That was right yeah, and I'm still, I'm still learning a little of my stuff now. Sorry, I'm babbling a lot. That's okay. That's I, I'm, I got that. That's when I'm nervous. <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> Don't and, be um, nervous. Don't be nervous. Like, oh, that was it. It's like we're banned now. So we're like psyched. We're doing a showcase tomorrow, and um, thank you for like you know supporting you know the whole thing. Absolutely. Are you kidding? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There's some you know there's just some really incredible stuff, and in, and in, and again like I was talking to um you know um, Tommy and I was talking to JD. You know there was such a cult following for the music and for the sound. You know for such a long time, and you know now is that time. You know what I mean? And now is that, you know, is, is that deal, you know, as far yeah, I as... I totally hear it, Dan. Everything comes full circle, as I say, for me personally getting back with these guys and hopefully for, you know, the bigger picture for, you know, FTF, it's all full circle again. Good. And, yeah, it's, yeah. I, I mean, I think, you know, Jenny said the best is like long for the ride and like don't want to get off this train. Good deal. So, so I have figured out that you can't that, tell I'm the hippie in the band. Not at all. But I also, <laughs> I also figured out that if I really want to know kind of what really goes down, man, I call you. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly, Dan. Listen, let me give you a real quick to my brother Gannon on drums. I've been playing with him forever. Okay. Um, and uh, basically, you know, they said, "Can you get us a drummer?" And here he is, Mr. G Man, as we call him. Okay. Hey, Diana. Hi, G-Man. This is Kenner. Yeah, Kenner. How's it going? Kenner, how are you? I'm fantastic. Very cool, man. Man, I get to meet the whole band. I didn't realize this was going to go down. How how cool is this? Yeah, very good. Very good. Yeah. All good stuff. All right. So, yeah, how, how'd you get wrapped up in this crazy in, in this crazy world? Yeah, well, I, I worked with Kenny for uh, almost 20 years now, playing in different bands and a couple months ago, he gave me the CD. He says, here's our next band and our next job. And I listened to it, and I was like, all right, let's do it. Wow. So you just kind of rolled in. You, you you just showed up on a pale white horse and said, yeah, I'm in. Yeah, yeah, that's ah, it. Ah, I got you. I got you. So, so yep, it's all in the job. So what are you thinking about all of this? It, it's great. It's great so far, and uh, I, I know it's just going to get better and better as we go along. Wow. See, that's going to be kind of crazy for you. Is this something? Is this something that's kind of new to you, or you've always kind of been in, in, into some craziness like this? Uh, it's always the whole industry is always crazy like this. But, uh, <laughs> you, you know what they say? You, got, you just have to always be ready. Yeah, is that is that be the ready, key? Be ready. That's it. Be available. That's what they always say. Be available. Imagine that. That's some good advice. That's some great. <laughs> that's some great advice. So now, what does the what does the band call you? What, what do they? Who do they? How do they refer to you? Uh. Gannon or Mr. G, yep, either one. <laughs> Gannon or Mr. G, got it. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic uh, stuff. I'm, 
the yell hit it all the time for me. I don't know. What, I don't know what that's all about. Ah, uh, well, think that's a nickname. You know, hey, just fly, You know, just roll with it, man. Have a fantastic time with it. I'm that's so. Right, yeah. I'm so. Ha- I'm so happy for you. I mean, I'm so happy that you were able to, you know, get in on this, and and you guys are going to be doing some incredible things with From the Fire. That's fantastic stuff. Thank you very much. Yes. Yes. Yeah. No, not a problem. Thank you, man, for for coming in and and hanging out with us on Radio Memphis around the world. We appreciate we appreciate y'all so much. Yep, I appreciate it. And um, let me uh, hand on back to uh, Joey. And, okay. Um, it's good talking to you, and thank you very much. And have a happy new year. Happy new year to you too, honey. All right. Here. Diana, well, mm-hmm. thank you for letting everybody come up and say hello. Oh it's my good. goodness! It's right? It's like I got to meet the band. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> very cool it's fantastic stuff well honey yeah. i want to uh, thank you for taking a few minutes you know out of y'all's rehearsal time um you oh, know to spend anything, man. you know we're going to drive down there soon you know that right uh, you know i keep hearing that I, there's rumors there's rumors that say from, <laughs> from the fire may show up in memphis at some point in time you know they might it's even show up at the radio man. memphis pirate radio Put studios the chocolate ice cream ready we'll all be in the car <laughs> oh my god <laughs> That was not cool. I just my mind went somewhere else with that man. I, I was with you on that. <laughs> I, I, I know, man. <laughs> and you know that's the power of the music too. It takes me there too. <laughs> <laughs> now you guys, oh, man. you guys are getting ready for your showcase. Where's that going to be tomorrow? That's going to be uh, up here in, in uh, Elmsford, New York. Uh, it's going to be at uh, 3 p.m. tomorrow, and so. I'm just I'm blown away because we thought we would have just a few people want to come up, and it wound up being that we had to actually rent a second room wow. just to handle the overflow. And uh, it's got to be great, you know. It, it's really people that we love, and um, it, it's kind of like a it's kind of like a debut. You know, I'm really excited about it because I mean we're not going to be up there and be like you know thank you Cleveland. You know, <laughs> and, well, you know. you know, you could be that thank you New York. You got to practice at some point. <laughs> but, that, but that's it. You know, but this is like it's a really intimate space. It's a beautiful room. The people Perfect. here. So it's called Lagan Studios, and 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 they're just really like hand in glove. Took care of the band. They have this room set up beautifully with tables and chairs. It's going to be just a really nice way for us to come out and say we want you guys to meet the new from the fire and this is where we're going from this point on this band's on a mission to get out there and do all the things we plan on doing and make up for all those lost years that's going to be perfect well honey you guys have a fantastic time congratulations well, thank you. congratulations Thanks, thank uh, you very much i'm thank thrilled very much very thrilled to see everything for you guys the preceding aired live on radio memphis for more original on-demand content visit radio-memphis.com